Hello everybody, it's Norma again and I'm here with part two of my 20 off 45 sale at Yankee Candle. If you watched my first video you know that during my lunch hour yesterday I went with a co-worker and I think I did pretty good. I ended up getting a lot of stuff for around $80 and I was fortunate that some of the candles that I wanted were buy one, get one 50% off, which is why I got such a great deal. But anyway, I was driving home from work that night, and you know, now it's daylight savings time, so it stays lighter out. And it was so nice out. It was like 50 degrees, which is unreal, because just two days before, we had eight inches of snow. So I said, you know... I really shouldn't, but I think I'm going to stop by my local Yankee Candle store and ask them about the friends and family sale. When I was at the mall with my co-worker, I did ask about it, and you know the cashier was like very suspicious, like, how did you hear about that? How do you know about that? And I said, well, you know, I heard about it on YouTube. She goes, YouTube? I go, yeah. And I said, I know it's supposed to be March 20th. She goes, yeah. She goes but you're not supposed to know anything about it unless you got invited. And I was like, okay, whatever. So I said, I'm going to go to my store, and if I hope my manager's in, and, you know, maybe he'll invite me. So I got to the store, and the main store manager wasn't there. There was another one who, you know, I've seen there a few times, but I don't really know her well enough to... Um, to ask. There was a, a salesperson that I didn't mention it to and she confirmed that you know it is the I believe it's the 20th or 21st and she said you have to ask my manager but I really wanted to ask the the guy manager that is there all the time because um, he knows I'm a really really good customer. But anyway so he wasn't there so I was like you know that's okay. I really, really, really don't need to buy, you know, any more wax. And if I get invited to that sale, I'll probably go crazy. And, you know, I, I have more than enough wax. The only thing I really wanted to get were, you know, a couple of the Easter candles. And I still would like to get a large jar of Macintosh and vanilla lime. But, you know, I can wait. I can wait. So I got to the store, and they did have the four new summer fragrances out. They had, let me think if I can remember them, Margarita Thyme, Cinnamon and Vanilla, Sea Coral, and Coconut and Vanilla Bean. And frankly, you know, I really wasn't that impressed with them. The Margarita Thyme, I did kind of like. It was, you know, smelled like a margarita. But, uh, you know, nothing special that I had to have right then and there. And the cinnamon and vanilla, I wasn't quite sure, but it, it reminds me of something, like uh, like some kind of drink or something. But, um, you know, n none of the fragrances really interest me. The, the sea coral, I was totally not interested in at all. It reminds me of something else, maybe uh, beechwood, something like that. And then... The coconut and vanilla bean, I think, is a reincarnation of one of those numbered candles. I forget if it's number five or number three, whichever one was the, the dark one with the coconut and vanilla bean. So I could easily pass those up, but I really wanted to get the two Easter candles because I said, well, you know, if, if I'm not going to be invited to the friends and family sale, I'm not going to get be able to get them at a better price than I could probably do right now. So I just better go ahead and get one of each and, you know, call it a day. So that's what I end up doing. They, I got bunny cake, which is supposed to be like a coconut vanilla with citrus. And I got marshmallow chicks peeps. And actually, I was surprised. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to get this one because I'm not that crazy about marshmallow, but it really smells more, you know, like a, a marshmallow vanilla cookie type thing. It re really reminded me a lot of Christmas cookie. So I liked it a lot more than I thought I would. So I was happy to get that one. And bunny cake, I thought I would like more because it's coconut and vanilla, and I love coconut and vanilla, but it's very light, so I'm not sure how the, the scent throw is going to be. But... Anyway, I got them. 
So then I had to uh, come up with, you know, stuff to make my purchases round up to the 45. So th these were actually like two purchases of 45. So what I ended up getting was a wick trimmer, which I really wanted a second wick trimmer because I had candles all over the house and I'm constantly misplacing and losing my wick trimmer. And so I was happy to get a second one. I ended up getting this. A Luma lid in Argyle. They had a special where if you bought one of the two Easter candles, you could get an Easter egg, a Luma lid, and the candle and the lid together were like thirty-four ninety-five. And I was going to do that, and it, my my purchase would have round up perfectly. I was going to get that the the wick trimmer, and there was something else I forget. But in the end, I decided I really didn't like the look of that lid. I wanted something that I could use year round. So I got this one instead, and then the manager suggested I get this because she really liked it, and she said, please take it out of the store, otherwise she was going to have to buy it. And you know, I wasn't sure if I liked this or not, but you know, it was $10. I needed you know, $10 more to round out my purchase. I couldn't decide what to get. I was debating about getting a lighter or getting another Luma lid. I said, well, this is something different. I don't have anything like it. And I'm kind of glad I got it. It looks beautiful with this candle. This is, you know, just a, a white tumbler. And it's, you know, getting near the end of it. And I put it in here because I initially had some burning issues with this particular candle. So I kind of got, like, you know, wax all over the side and stuff. So I said, I'll put this in there and hide it. And it really shows up nice. The patterns are beautiful, especially with the white wax. I did try it with another jar candle that hasn't burned quite so low. And frankly, you know, it, unless you, the, the wax is down fairly low, I mean, my wax is right about here. So it looks beautiful. The other candle I had, the wax was about up to here, and you couldn't see the glow of the cutouts. So I figured this would be nice because I have a lot of glass tabletops. And I've been meaning to get like a candle tray or something. So when the candles start to get low, I could put the candle on a candle tray so it's not directly on the glass. But I have never gotten around to getting a candle tray. So I figured this will serve the purpose. So that's very pretty. So that was my, my little trip to my store. And this, all of this ended up costing me, it was under 50 bucks. It was $48.71. So not quite a great a deal as I did earlier in the day, but still I'm happy with it. And at least it, not everything is wax. So I'll have some of this to last me a long time, I hope. I may go back to the store one more time this weekend. The sale ends tomorrow, March 16th. And I'm really kind of thinking I really want to get the um, butane lighter and maybe a couple other things. So we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, if you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe below, and have a blessed day.